Today I will talk about how to form a giant and always available memory bank. We'll talk about how to improve your memory. I will share memorization techniques and reveal some secrets using which any person is guaranteed to be at the level of world memory champions. It may seem like I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. In 2017, researchers took two dozen winners in memory competitions and scanned their brains. Compared with the brain of an average person, it turned out that structurally they are no different. The grey matter of champions is no better than mine or yours. However, there is still some difference between us. While memizing, champions' brains work in a unique pattern, with different parts of the brain firing in a specific order. Having discovered this difference, the scientists began to train the layman according to special methods and with each subsequent training, the brains of beginners behaved more and more like the brains of champions. For example, subjects soon began to memize three times as many words. Of course, if you want to prepare for your exams in a week, this video will be of no use to you. In the study, significant changes were found only after six weeks of active training, so prepare for long work. In his book Two Weeks to a Younger Brain, Dr. Gary Small shares our first technique. It is needed in order to passively improve memory. It's called the four-piece exercise. Walking down the street, looking at people and paying attention to the details of their clothes. It is necessary to note four features and in a day to remember them. This technique will surely improve your memory. However, if you train your brain at an abstract level to remember things that are not relevant to your activities and cannot be applied in practice, then you are missing out on a lot. In fact, this is why many applications to improve memory do not work. You remember figures, sounds and images that are not related to your life. Fitness for the brain should be associated with specific things you understand that bring tangible results in your life, only then the brain wants to train. In our ancestors, for example, it was associated with hunting and memorizing the area. Quite recently, taxi drivers were hired not only by the ability to drive but also by the ability to name all the streets of the city and their locations. Now there are navigators and even such elementary things have become an unnecessary rudiment. Therefore, we will look for difficulties for ourselves. I, for example, like to draw, so I try to notice interesting combinations of colors, shapes and shadows. Let's say the bark of a tree at sunset looks very unusual and it makes sense to mark four details in order to reproduce it on paper later. The same goes for any other profession. Four details of some kind of advertising if you are a marketer, four details of your neighbor's makeup if you work in a beauty salon, four unexpectedly used epithets of a book if you are a writer and so on. Researchers call this passive memory training because you are not using any specific techniques, but simply observing the world and focusing your attention on its details. Before moving on to the second technique, I'm anticipating your questions and going straight to the mobile and web apps that supposedly improve your brain. Science, unfortunately, does not support the claim of such companies. For example, Western giant Lumosity was recently fined $2 million for making false promises to improve memory with their app. Some studies say that some applications can actually improve concentration and attention, but other studies on large populations show their absolute uselessness. In a word, some applications, of course, are worthy of attention, but I don't know which ones. Therefore, we will not make loud statements about just putting the application aside until we have more scientific data, especially since memory training is an extremely ancient practice and mankind has accumulated a huge amount of knowledge on this topic, so let's roll back into the past and we will use what is proven to work. Our second practice just fits this description. It has been known since ancient Greece and people using it today are breaking all records. For example, Marvin Valonius memorized 5,040 digits of a binary code in the correct order in 50 minutes. This technique is called the method of Lockie. Here's how it works. Imagine some familiar space, such as your home, school, or office. There are several rooms inside this space. Your task is to visualize how you move from one room to another. While walking, put the things you want to remember in specific places. It is best to imagine them in a funny, bright, unusual and memorable way, and when you need to remember them, you should reimagine this place and go along a pre-prepared route. You should use this technique for meaningful tasks in your life. For example, technology can be used to learn languages. After all, for the first time, it became known just in this context. In the 16th century, Matteo Ricci became the first foreigner in China to pass the most difficult linguistic test, which even among the Chinese themselves, only 1% manage. 
It turned out that he used the method of lucky technique, which he later taught the Chinese. With it, he even memorized entire books, reading them from memory in reverse order. For us, this is not the most useful skill, so we will find a more reasonable use for this technique. For example, you can memorize professional terminology, quotes, poems, the most important moment from books, street names, historical and scientific facts, and so on. You need to choose something that matters to you and start applying this technique in relation to it. You can read more about it in Kevin Horsley's book Unlimited Memory. Let's talk about lifestyle now. The biggest enemy of memory is sugar. Not the sugar that is found in bananas and apples, these things just improve memory, but refined, seized sugar, which can be found in sweets, canned food, and pastries, in sauces, dulls us at an enviable rate. According to a recent study, after just 10 minutes, our ability to think is reduced by about 30%. We see the same thing in large populations. Those of us who eat the most refined sugars have smaller brains, in particular the hippocampus, and worse memory. They are also more likely to develop Alzheimer's, forgetting not only where they left their keys, but also what their loved ones look like. So I would remove the sugar and add berries. Blueberries are best studied. They show magical results in all studies. For example, 12 weeks of regular blueberry consumption results in a 20% improvement in working memory. Nuts will also be very useful in this matter, in particular walnuts, which, with long-term consumption, improve already long-term memory. Walnuts are good for their fats. I would say the same about meditation. About a dozen studies have reliably established that systematic meditation improves working memory, with visible results appearing as early as two weeks. And if you are very serious and want to storm the world with your memory, then I have good news for you. Recently, scientists have discovered a number of mushrooms containing unique and very memory-beneficial active substances. Especially since some of them can be bought on iHerb. I think we'll stop there. Now you have all the tools to improve your memory and remember the wonderful moments of your life.